Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make two microphones sound the same or at least really close to it and this does an excellent job. So we're going to use the EQ matching function on FabFilter Pro Q4. Now in Pro Q3 it seemed like this was kind of complicated but maybe I was doing it wrong. I'm not sure but on Pro Q4 this is super easy. So the first thing you want to do is put Fab Filter Pro Q4 on the main track and the secondary audio track. So make sure each one of these audio clips is on its own track and put Fab Filter Pro Q4 on both of them. So next, what you want to do down here where you see Pro Q4, you should probably see my mouse going around. Click on that. It's going to bring this screen up. So let's just say the first one is the eq we want the second audio track to sound like so we're going to come down to the second audio track we're going to hit this little down arrow right here we're going to hit eq match now we're going to hit the little thing that says reference other instances and then we're going to hit pro q and now we're just going to go ahead and hit the play button on our daw it's going to play hey, what's this, up everyone it is me danny lining i hope you guys are doing really awesome today so thank you for coming out to my crazy live stream i really do appreciate it thank you so much we're going to make sure we turn these headphones down because we want to make sure there's no and now i just hit the match button and it actually matches the eq so these two microphones will sound very similar now you can actually move this little bar to make more EQ points. I mean, that's going to do up to 24 EQ points to make these two microphones match. Then you just hit finish and ba-bam. Now you have your crazy EQ. So if I hit the escape key, it brings this back up. So this is what it did on the second EQ right here to make these two things sound similar. So that's pretty much the deal right there. I mean, that is a crazy EQ curve to make the Lauten LS208 and the Lauten Clarion pretty much sound the same. Now, one thing I noticed, though, if you run the thing over several times, each time it will give you a different EQ curve. So it's not really 100% accurate, but it does do a very good job of making mo both microphones sound very similar. You don't have to do the 24 EQ points like 7 or 10 or 12 is fine. But if you want to get crazy, you can do the full 24 and then you can always adjust it from there. If you want, if you think it did a little too much, you could do this or that. I mean, this looks like a pretty crazy EQ curve, but I don't quite understand what this is doing. But it doesn't sound like it does what this looks like it does on the EQ curve. So... It, it's kind of a weird deal, but it works. It matches microphones and make them sound very, very similar, which is pretty sweet, but it's really that easy. I mean, there's not much to it. It takes a couple of seconds and ba-bam, your EQs or your microphone should now sound pretty close to the same. I mean, they're not going to sound exact, but it is going to get you very close, very close. But that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Maybe watch one of these other videos that are floating around up here on the screen. If you check the video description or the pinned comment, you'll see my affiliate links where you can get all kinds of amazing stuff and some other ways to help support the channel in the video description and the pinned comment. Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing. If you want YouTube to notify you when I make more videos, hit the little bell, set them notifications to all, and it should let you know when new videos come out. All right, that's pretty much the deal right there. Thank you, and you guys and gals are amazing. See ya. Have a great day. Lightning out. Bye-bye.